Hello. And welcome back to Mini Reads. Today we will be summarizing the book Outlive, The Science and Art of Longevity by Dr. Peter Atia. This book is a compelling exploration of the science and art of longevity. In a world where people are living longer than ever before, Atia challenges readers to question the traditional notions of aging and to consider what it truly means to live a long, healthy life. Drawing on his extensive experience as a physician, researcher, and athlete, Atia provides a unique perspective on the latest research, cutting-edge technologies, and personal practices that can help extend our health span. Before we move ahead, please take a minute to subscribe to our channel. Chapter 1, The Two Sides of Longevity In this chapter, the author discusses the two main approaches to extending lifespan, the lifespan approach and the healthspan approach. The lifespan approach focuses on extending the overall length of life, regardless of the quality of that life. This approach has traditionally been the focus of medical research, with a heavy emphasis on developing drugs and interventions that target specific diseases and risk factors for mortality. In contrast, the healthspan approach emphasizes maintaining a high quality of life for as long as possible, rather than simply extending life at all costs. This approach recognizes that aging is a complex process that involves a range of physiological changes, and that interventions aimed at promoting overall health and well-being may be more effective at extending lifespan in a meaningful way. Atia argues that both approaches are important, and that a balanced approach to longevity should incorporate elements of both. He suggests that a focus on maintaining metabolic health, such as through regular exercise and a healthy diet, may be particularly effective at promoting both lifespan and healthspan. Overall, the chapter emphasizes the need for a nuanced approach to longevity that takes into account both the length and quality of life, and that recognizes the complex interplay between various physiological systems that contribute to aging. Chapter 2, The Science of Longevity In this chapter, Dr. Peter Atia explores the current scientific understanding of aging and longevity. He begins by discussing the distinction between lifespan, the maximum age a species can reach, and healthspan, the period of time during which an individual is healthy and free from disease. Atiyah explains that aging is a complex process that involves multiple systems in the body and is influenced by genetic and environmental factors. He discusses the role of inflammation, oxidative stress, and cellular senescence in aging, as well as the importance of maintaining healthy mitochondria and telomeres. Atiyah also explores the science behind various interventions that have been proposed to slow down or reverse the aging process, including caloric restriction, intermittent fasting, exercise, and supplementation with various compounds such as resveratrol, metformin, and rapamycin. He acknowledges that while these interventions show promise in animal models and some clinical studies, their effectiveness in humans is still uncertain. Ultimately, Atia argues that the key to achieving a longer and healthier life is to focus on optimizing one's overall health through a combination of lifestyle choices and medical interventions, while recognizing the limits of our current scientific understanding of aging and longevity. Chapter 3, The Art of Longevity Here the author, discusses the importance of taking a holistic approach to longevity. Atia emphasizes that while scientific advances have helped us understand the mechanisms behind aging and disease, we must also consider the importance of personal choices and behaviors in determining our longevity. Atia discusses the role of diet, exercise, and sleep in maintaining health and preventing chronic diseases. He also emphasizes the importance of mental and emotional well-being, as stress and negative emotions can have a significant impact on health. Additionally, Atiyah stresses the importance of social connections and relationships in promoting longevity, citing research that shows a strong correlation between social support and reduced risk of chronic diseases. Overall, Atiyah argues that while scientific advances have provided us with valuable insights into longevity, it is also essential to focus on personal choices and behaviors that can promote health and well-being in our daily lives. Chapter 4, The Metabolic Theory of Aging In this chapter, the author discusses the role of metabolism in the aging process. He explains that aging is a complex process that involves various factors such as genetics, lifestyle, and environmental factors. 
However, recent research has shown that metabolism plays a critical role in aging. Atiyah explains that metabolism is the process by which the body converts food into energy. This process generates free radicals, which are unstable molecules that can damage cells and DNA. As we age, the body's ability to neutralize these free radicals decreases, leading to cellular damage and aging. The author further discusses how metabolic dysfunction can accelerate the aging process. He explains that insulin resistance, a common condition in which the body's cells become less responsive to insulin, can increase the production of free radicals and lead to inflammation and cellular damage. Additionally, excess calorie intake can also lead to metabolic dysfunction and accelerate aging. Atia concludes the chapter by discussing potential strategies for slowing down the aging process through improving metabolic health. He recommends a low-carbohydrate, high-fat diet, regular exercise, and fasting as effective ways to improve metabolic health and potentially extend lifespan. He also emphasizes the importance of personalized approaches to improving metabolic health, as individual genetics and lifestyle factors can greatly impact metabolic function. Chapter 5, The Role of Insulin In this chapter, the author discusses the critical role that insulin plays in the regulation of glucose metabolism in the body. Insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas, which helps regulate the levels of glucose in the blood. The chapter provides an overview of the different ways in which insulin functions in the body and how it can impact health and longevity. The author explains that insulin resistance, which is a condition in which the body becomes less sensitive to insulin, can lead to a range of health problems, including type 2 diabetes, obesity, and cardiovascular disease. The chapter also discusses strategies for reducing insulin resistance, such as following a low-carbohydrate diet, engaging in regular exercise, and maintaining a healthy weight. The author emphasizes the importance of individualized approaches to managing insulin resistance, as there is no one-size-fits-all solution. Overall, the chapter provides a comprehensive overview of the critical role that insulin plays in health and longevity, as well as practical strategies for reducing insulin resistance and improving overall metabolic health. Chapter 6, The Role of Protein In this chapter, the author explores the importance of protein in maintaining health and longevity. He begins by discussing the different types of proteins, including animal-based and plant-based sources, and explains the importance of consuming a balanced mix of these proteins. Atia then delves into the role of protein in muscle building and maintenance, as well as its importance in regulating appetite and promoting weight loss. He also discusses the potential risks of consuming too much protein, including kidney damage and increased risk of certain cancers. The author goes on to explore the benefits of protein for aging and longevity, including its role in maintaining bone density, preventing muscle loss, and improving immune function. He emphasizes the importance of consuming high-quality proteins, such as those found in grass-fed meats and wild-caught fish, and avoiding processed and low-quality protein sources. Overall, Atiyah highlights the crucial role that protein plays in maintaining health and longevity and stresses the importance of consuming a balanced and high-quality protein diet. Chapter 7, Impact of Carbohydrates on Our Health and Longevity Dr. Atiyah argues that carbohydrates can be both beneficial and harmful to our bodies, depending on the type and amount consumed. He explains that carbohydrates are a primary source of energy for the body, but excessive consumption of high glycemic carbohydrates, such as refined sugars and grains, can lead to insulin resistance, obesity, and chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes. Dr. Atia emphasizes the importance of consuming carbohydrates in moderation and choosing low glycemic, unprocessed sources like fruits, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains. He also discusses the benefits of a low-carbohydrate or ketogenic diet for improving metabolic health and weight loss. In addition, Dr. Atia notes that carbohydrates can be particularly beneficial for athletes and individuals engaging in intense physical activity, as they provide quick energy for the body. Overall, the chapter emphasizes the importance of mindful carbohydrate consumption as part of a balanced and healthy diet while also recognizing the potential risks of excessive consumption of high-glycemic carbohydrates. Chapter 8, The Role of Fat 
the chapter discusses the importance of dietary fat in our health and longevity. Atiyah explains that, contrary to popular belief, fat is not inherently bad for our health. In fact, he argues that certain types of fat, such as monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, are essential for optimal health and longevity. Atiyah also discusses the role of fat in energy production, explaining that fat is a much more efficient source of energy than carbohydrates. He argues that by incorporating healthy fats into our diets and reducing our intake of carbohydrates, we can increase our energy levels and improve our overall health. Additionally, Atiyah explores the relationship between fat and insulin resistance, a condition that can lead to type 2 diabetes and other health problems. He suggests that by reducing our intake of refined carbohydrates and increasing our consumption of healthy fats, we can improve our insulin sensitivity and reduce our risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Overall, Atiyah's chapter highlights the importance of incorporating healthy fats into our diets and reducing our reliance on carbohydrates for energy. He argues that by doing so, we can improve our health and increase our chances of living a long and healthy life. Chapter 9, The Role of Exercise The author discusses the importance of exercise in promoting longevity and overall health. Atiyah begins by highlighting the fact that physical activity is a fundamental aspect of human physiology, and that lack of exercise can lead to a variety of health problems. Atiyah then goes on to explore the many benefits of exercise, including improved cardiovascular health, increased insulin sensitivity, and reduced risk of chronic diseases such as diabetes and cancer. He also discusses the role of exercise in promoting mental health and cognitive function. The author emphasizes the importance of finding an exercise routine that is sustainable and enjoyable, as consistency is key in reaping the benefits of physical activity. Atiyah also delves into the nuances of different types of exercise, including strength training and endurance exercise, and their respective effects on the body. Overall, Atiyah stresses that exercise is a crucial component of a healthy lifestyle and longevity, and encourages readers to incorporate physical activity into their daily routine in a way that works for them. Chapter 10, The Role of Sleep The author discusses the importance of sleep for longevity and overall health. Atiyah explains that sleep is essential for the body's repair and restoration processes. During sleep, the body performs critical functions such as repairing damaged tissue, consolidating memories, and flushing out toxins from the brain. Lack of sleep can lead to a range of health problems, including decreased cognitive function, increased risk of obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and a weakened immune system. Atiyah also explores the link between sleep and the body's circadian rhythm, which regulates the body's natural sleep-wake cycle. Disruptions to this cycle can lead to a host of health problems, including metabolic disorders, depression, and even cancer. The author suggests several strategies for improving sleep quality and duration, such as creating a sleep-conducive environment, avoiding stimulants like caffeine and nicotine, and establishing a consistent sleep schedule. He also highlights the importance of seeking treatment for sleep disorders such as sleep apnea. Overall, the chapter emphasizes the vital role that sleep plays in promoting longevity and optimal health. By prioritizing sleep and taking steps to improve its quality, individuals can reap significant benefits for their physical and mental well-being. Chapter 11, The Role of Stress In this chapter, the author explores the impact of stress on our health and longevity. Atiyah begins by discussing the physiological response to stress, including the release of cortisol and adrenaline, and how chronic stress can lead to a dysregulation of these hormones. He then delves into the negative effects of chronic stress on the immune system, cardiovascular system, and the brain, highlighting the link between chronic stress and a variety of chronic diseases. The author also examines the concept of eustress, or beneficial stress, and how it can contribute to resilience and adaptation. He argues that the key to mitigating the negative effects of stress is to find a balance between eustress and distress. Atiyah concludes the chapter by discussing various strategies for managing stress, including mindfulness, exercise, and social support. He emphasizes the importance of finding what works for each individual, as stress management is not a one-size-fits-all approach. Overall, 
The Role of Stress provides a comprehensive overview of the impact of stress on our health and longevity and offers practical tips for managing stress in our daily lives. Chapter 12, The Role of Toxins. In this chapter, the author discusses the impact of toxins on human health and longevity. Atiyah explains that toxins can come from various sources such as the environment, food, and drugs. He argues that toxins can damage the body's cells and lead to chronic diseases such as cancer, heart disease, and neurological disorders. Atiyah also explores the body's detoxification system and how it works to eliminate toxins from the body. He emphasizes that a healthy liver is crucial for effective detoxification, and certain lifestyle habits such as exercise and proper nutrition can support liver function. The chapter also delves into the controversy surrounding detox diets and supplements, with Atiyah cautioning against relying on quick-fix solutions that may do more harm than good. Instead, he recommends focusing on long-term lifestyle changes that support the body's natural detoxification processes. Overall, Atiyah stresses the importance of minimizing toxin exposure and supporting the body's natural detoxification system for optimal health and longevity. Chapter 13, The Role of Gut Health In this chapter, the author explores the crucial role of gut health in overall well-being and longevity. The gut, or gastrointestinal system, is responsible for digesting food and absorbing nutrients, as well as serving as a barrier against harmful pathogens and toxins. Atiyah explains that the gut is home to trillions of microorganisms, collectively known as the gut microbiome, which play a crucial role in gut health. Imbalances in the gut microbiome can lead to a variety of health problems, including digestive issues, autoimmune disorders, and even neurological conditions. The author discusses the importance of maintaining a diverse and healthy gut microbiome, which can be achieved through a variety of lifestyle factors, including a healthy diet rich in fiber and fermented foods, regular exercise, stress reduction, and avoiding unnecessary antibiotics. Atiyah also explores the potential benefits of probiotics and prebiotics, as well as the emerging field of fecal microbiota transplantation FMT, in which healthy bacteria from a donor's stool are transplanted into the gut of a recipient. Overall, Atiyah emphasizes the importance of taking care of gut health as a key component of overall health and longevity. Chapter 14, The Role of Hormones In this chapter, the author explores the complex role that hormones play in the aging process and the maintenance of health throughout life. Atiyah begins by discussing the importance of hormonal balance in the body, particularly with regard to insulin and glucose regulation. He notes that chronically elevated levels of insulin and glucose can lead to a range of health problems, including obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. The chapter then delves into the specific roles of various hormones in the body, including testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, and thyroid hormone. Atiyah discusses the ways in which these hormones interact with each other and with other bodily systems, such as the immune system and the brain. Throughout the chapter, Atiyah emphasizes the importance of maintaining optimal levels of hormones throughout life, particularly as individuals age. He notes that hormonal imbalances can contribute to a range of age-related health problems, including cognitive decline, osteoporosis, and cardiovascular disease. Finally, Atiyah discusses some of the ways in which hormonal balance can be achieved and maintained, including through lifestyle factors such as diet and exercise, as well as through hormone replacement therapy when appropriate. He emphasizes that achieving hormonal balance is a complex and ongoing process that requires individualized attention and care. Chapter 15, The Role of Mindset In this chapter, the author explores the power of mindset in achieving a long and healthy life. Atiyah argues that our beliefs, attitudes, and thoughts can have a profound impact on our physical health and longevity. Atiyah begins by discussing the concept of mind-body medicine, which recognizes the interconnectedness of the mind and body and the importance of mental health in achieving physical health. He then delves into the idea of a growth mindset, which involves seeing challenges and setbacks as opportunities for growth and learning rather than as failures. Atiyah also examines the concept of self-efficacy, or the belief in one's ability to succeed in achieving goals. 
He argues that cultivating a sense of self-efficacy can lead to increased motivation, resilience, and ultimately, better health outcomes. Throughout the chapter, Atiyah draws on both scientific research and personal anecdotes to support his arguments about the power of mindset in achieving longevity. He also offers practical tips for cultivating a growth mindset and increasing self-efficacy, such as setting achievable goals, practicing gratitude, and seeking out social support. Overall, the role of mindset emphasizes the importance of the mind-body connection in achieving a long and healthy life, and provides readers with tools to cultivate a positive and growth-oriented mindset. Chapter 16, The Longevity Toolbox The chapter focuses on the different tools and techniques that can be used to promote a longer and healthier life. The chapter begins with an overview of the history of medicine and how it has evolved to address the various factors that contribute to aging and disease. It then discusses the key pillars of longevity, which include nutrition, exercise, sleep, stress management, and social connections. Atiyah emphasizes the importance of personalized medicine in tailoring interventions to the unique needs of each individual. He discusses the use of biomarkers to assess overall health and identify areas of improvement, as well as the use of technology to track progress and optimize interventions. The chapter also delves into specific interventions for each of the longevity pillars, such as optimizing macronutrient intake, engaging in strength and endurance training, improving sleep hygiene, practicing mindfulness and meditation, and fostering social connections. Overall, the Longevity Toolbox provides a comprehensive overview of the different tools and techniques available to promote longevity and optimize health, emphasizing the importance of personalized medicine and a holistic approach to health and wellness. Conclusion The book provides a comprehensive guide to extending human lifespan and health span. Atiyah explores the latest scientific research on aging and longevity, as well as practical strategies for improving health and wellness. Throughout the book, Atiyah emphasizes the importance of adopting a holistic approach to longevity, addressing not only physical health but also mental and emotional well-being. He advocates for personalized and proactive healthcare, encouraging readers to take control of their own health and seek out the best available medical care. Atiyah also stresses the need for ongoing scientific research into the mechanisms of aging and the development of new treatments and therapies. He argues that with continued progress in the field of longevity, it may be possible to extend the healthy human lifespan far beyond what is currently achievable. Overall, Outlive, the science and art of longevity offers a valuable and thought-provoking exploration of the science and practice of living a longer, healthier life. Atiyah's insights and recommendations are sure to inspire readers to take proactive steps towards improving their own health and longevity. So, that's the complete summary of the book Outlive, The Science and Art of Longevity. Please leave a like and subscribe for more summaries.